Why does Sony sell their PlayStation 5s for a loss? Let's talk about it on Kyle Talks Money. Sony sold around 4.5 million PS5s from the November 12 launch to the end of last year. By contrast, it sold 4.2 million PS4s within the same time period in 2013. But it's selling the $500 edition at breakeven and the $400 digital edition at a loss. Including marketing and R&D, it's selling each unit at $60 an average loss. Despite that, the gaming division of Sony posted a 43% growth in profits that quarter and its stock price is up 50% since the launch. How is that possible? Well, even the Xbox Series X is being sold at a hefty loss. But console makers actually compensate their hardware losses with software sales. For every $70 physical PS5 game sold, Sony pockets about 8 bucks. And for every $70 digital downloadable game sold, it pockets almost $60. This also explains why Sony is willing to sell the PS5 Digital Edition at a higher loss. Even if the user only buys two games, the loss to Sony would be offset. Moreover, Sony added a record 9 million users to its subscription service, PS Plus, in that quarter. These external sales are the reason the console model is stronger than ever. What are your thoughts? Do you own a PlayStation 5? If you like this video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I talk about money and everything related to it, so don't miss out. And as always, take care of your money.